so here we have our carburetor and I have brought it into the shop because I'm going to disassemble it further and it's just easier to do in here uh, so our main focus here is going to be the main jet which is uh, just underneath this cup this whole thing is called your carburetor cup and um, in order to do that we gotta take off these four screws and <clears throat> so let's go ahead and do that So you're going to find that maybe there's some tension here underneath. It kind of pops out. So there, we, so there we go. That's our cup removed. Okay. So according to the online manual, this right here is the main jet. You can see it's actually on the end of this little stem. And so that's what we're going to take out and remove. Okay, so you take a 7 millimeter wrench and hold this, and you put this flat screwdriver in here and unscrew the main jet. Um, I've been told that this main jet on most of these is like a 108. What I'm going to switch to. Um, with this air intake kit that I got from uh, Northwest Buggy, I got a 125. Oh, okay. So the original on this carburetor, if you look real close and I can get this to focus. You can see that there says it's a 102. So the original jet is a 102. And uh, the uh, kit came with from Northwest Buggy. Came with a 130. And a 125. And what I've decided to do is um, I'm going to start with the 125. I haven't put any aftermarket exhaust on. Um, and I don't want to lose too much fuel economy, but I'm going to kind of experiment with this. It is a pain in the butt to switch the carburetor jet. You know, taking the carburetor off was kind of a pain, but. Um, there's not a whole lot of difference in these. I've heard good results from people switching to like, you know, 115, 120 on the forum and other places online. So um, I'm going to switch to the 125. Switch to the 125 and I clean my spark plug off. And it looks to me like it's still running lean. Um, especially after the air intake, then I'm going to put in the uh, 130. But I want to see what the 125 is going to do. 
So it's real simple. Just put that back in there. And uh, screw it back on. Give it a nice good twist. And that's it. You know, you're going to put the carburetor back together um, the way it came apart. And then you're going to install the carburetor. And that's it. So what you're going to do now is put the carburetor back together. We got the main jet in, so we're going to put it back together. And then we're going to put uh, the carburetor back on the auto moto. After I put the carburetor back on the auto moto, then we're going to work on getting the velocity stack and the new air filter on there. Um, this is going to take a little time because I'm actually going to tap the velocity stack to um, hook those two vents up to the velocity stack both the uh, hose that looks like it comes out of a little like catalytic converter type thing off of the exhaust and the um, like the cam like the crankshaft breather tube I'm gonna hook that back try to hook that back up to the stack too mostly because both of those are sources of hot air um, you know no valve seats perfectly and no, you know, so what it's doing is it's returning some of that unspent fuel, um, basically in the form of exhaust, that ends up in the valve body, uh, and and kind of you know the valve cover, and also from the exhaust, and it reburns it, and the hot air helps to evaporate the fuel better, and it gives you a more efficient, cleaner burn in the end. You know, they're both things that were installed to uh, mean emissions but it does give you some greater fuel efficiency and I'd hate to kill too much of the fuel efficiency since I'm already going up to a larger jet I'm gonna lose some fuel efficiency anyways so I'll get it back together and we'll start dealing with the new air intake